please subscribe to help you and your motorcycle perform better. Then we'll push this one back in. In pushing that one back in, this one came out. The five steps to cleaning brake calipers. Step one, remove a caliper. Pick left or pick right, I don't care, but you only remove one. Okay, step two, get the brake pads out of the brake caliper. So if there's not enough room, and there isn't to get that pad out because there's not enough clearance through here, then we have to go ahead and open these up, get them further apart. So you can use a brake splitter, you can use a screw, a large screwdriver, but you have to be incredibly careful making these go wider. The other part that's not good about that is we're pushing the pistons back in and possibly transferring dirt into the caliper. So you only need what you need to get the first pad out, because as soon as one's out, the second will come. So we move this one backwards. Now let's see if we can get this one out. Then obviously pull the other one out. Now keep these the way they came out. I'm holding it this way. So I know they go back in that way. Next, take a look at the caliper. When the pads are out, is everything even? No, it's not. So that piston is slightly deeper in than this one. Don't get confused by that because remember, we use this tool in here. So it doesn't, it doesn't apply. So if you moved your brake pads, don't worry about the position of the pistons. Lots of soap. Don't be shy with the soap. And then get in there and clean. Okay, so that's much cleaner. So next, we wanna go ahead and make sure our spring clips in, which is fine. 
and then we want to squeeze the pistons. And the goal here is to have all four pistons move at the same time, irrespective of the distance that they are sticking out. So, That one is moving more than any other. So it's pushed out. So we'll give that another clean. Then we'll push this one back in. In pushing that one back in, this one came out. So let's clean this one. Now let's push that back in, because it's clean. Now I'm pushing those two back in, these two came out. So now we'll clean these again. Get the cloth inside the pistons, pick up all the excess water. There we go. Push those in because they're done. I can't see. That one needs a little more. All right, so they're all cleaned. As each piston moves, foot moved out, we went ahead and cleaned behind it. So now they're all pushed back in, they're all clean. Next, reinstall your brake pads. Now, we have a locating key here, which goes onto the spring. You may have one hole or two holes for the brake pins, but whatever that is, you've got to obviously use it correctly to put it all back together. So in this case, we've got to seat that in. And sometimes this can be really tricky and take a minute. So you've got to be patient because if you get it at an angle, it won't go in. Now, see, that's where it gets to be difficult because it's pushing against the spring. <clears throat> there it is. So we have one pad installed. And we have the other brake pad installed. Very gently, I'll square both of them up in the position they should be. Quick wipe again. And 
Now let's go ahead and do the last step of reinstalling. Now because the caliper is a very imperfect fit here, there's no dowel pins, it floats on the bolts. So put the bolts all the way up. That's stopped, an eighth of a turn back, just so it's loose. Eighth of a turn back so it's loose. There. Now we need this to center because it wobbles. So we'll go ahead and pump the brakes and get the pads to come right up against the rotor. There we go. Solid pressure now. So I'm going to hold that pressure and then I'm going to tighten the bolts. The brake pads are perfectly aligned with the rotor. Everything's 100% centered, so now I can tighten the caliper. Obviously get your owner's manual out, check your torque settings, do that and finish the job properly. But there's the quick, easy, step-by-step -step way to clean your brake caliper.